What is going on YouTube world? We are KRT Life, KRT Life with the Y. Like, subscribe, comment, all that kind of stuff. And Happy New Year! Yay! Yay. Turning up. 2021. 2021. This is our first video of the new year. And this video is all about why we got rid of our iCamper Skycam 2.0 after only how long? After owning it for about six weeks. Coming up right here. So, why did we get the iCamper uh, SkyCamp 2.0 to begin with? So, our whole um, idea of why we got it was because we wanted to get a tent that my wife could easily set up and deploy by herself and break down if something were to happen to me in the case of emergency. And we did a little bit of research and we were told that the iCamper SkyCamp 2.0 was a very, very easy to set up tent. Easy no. and fast. Yes, easy and fast. Because we move around a lot. Yes. So after paying $4,000 and waiting six or eight weeks for the tent. Six-ish weeks we waited. Yep. And finally got the tent and we went out and tried to use it. And on the first um, outing, mm -hmm. we realized pretty fast that it did not close quite as advertised. Yes. That was one of the main problems that we had. And we had another problem. What was the other issue with it? The comfort of the mattress. They said it's supposed to be improved um, mattress pad and should be a lot more comfortable, but it was very hard to sleep on. Yes. So, yes, uh, of course, right off the bat, we're like, well, we're new to it. Maybe it's a user error. So first thing we did, we tried to self troubleshoot and make sure we doing everything the way we're supposed to be doing to make sure we're not making any mistakes. We watched yes. a bunch of videos, we played with it, we shifted things around, and mind you, we did not leave anything, anything inside in but the original mattress pad only. Yes, we had condensation mats, but we realized really quick that it wouldn't cover, it wouldn't close properly with only the mattress, so it definitely would not close with the condensation pad, so we took those out. Yes, so of course our next step was to contact iCamper. Mm -hmm. We contact them. On yeah, so we contacted them on their on their uh, splash page on their uh, support, support site. Page. We did that first, and I sent them an email through there. After a couple of days and a week or so, we didn't hear anything back from them. So our next step was to contact people on the iCamper Facebook uh, page. Yeah, so there's an iCamper Facebook group, and I'm sure all you guys know who own one or who are looking for one. So we were like, well, all these people are users and owners, so maybe we can reach out and see if anybody have the same issue or help us out. So originally we did a post on that page and said, hey, yes. is anybody having issues uh, closing this tent? We're having a lot of issues closing it. And we got some responses from people that were having the same issue as us. Mm -hmm. And some people saying that, well, maybe you just aren't really using the tent right. So yes. after we went back out and tried to use it again, we realized that, you know what, something is definitely really wrong with this tent. Yes. So about two weeks after, because we try to go camping every weekend. So and we play with it in our driveway to make sure that, you know, we've tried anything and everything before we move forward with anything else. So we reached the point of frustration where we were just like, you know what, we're going to go ahead and film a vlog about this. And maybe yes. through a vlog, we can reach enough people that somebody will be like, oh, this is what's wrong. This is what you're doing. Or I can't reach, reach us directly and say, hey, do this, do this, do this, boom, and solve the problem because we really love the tent. Yes, and the vlog actually happened by accident. We were not planning filming that particular vlog, but we came up with a solution to exchange the mattress bed, the original one that came with the eye camper, to something we ordered off for Amazon, the same size, but much softer memory foam. So we were like, well, Maybe we can improve the you know comfort of us sleeping in it, and because the mattress is much softer, maybe it will close uh, better. Because from what we discovered, the mattress pad, the original mattress pad, is what was the main issue of preventing a closing correctly. Right. That was the creating more resistance than anything else. So we filmed the vlog. So what happened next, you might be wondering. So after we got no response from iCamper after about three or four weeks, mm -hmm. uh, we got a few responses from, well, mixed responses from Facebook group, uh, from the from Facebook group. From our original group. post. And people were, some people were like, yes, I'm having the exact same problem. Oh my God, like, can we please figure this out? And some people were even at the point of accusing us of fraud. Some, yeah. Very <laughs> strongly accusing us of a fraud. People, a couple of people on the Facebook forum said that we created a problem ourselves just so we can self-promote 
and make a YouTube make video. A YouTube about video it. and <laughs> like we even, don't have enough stuff to vlog about anyway. Yeah, and even though you know, if you trace us back, we've asked for help before, and then two mm -hmm. weeks later or three weeks later, because we haven't really resolved the issue. We decided to show what we came up with because we thought the solution that we came up with might help those other people who said that, hey, I'm having the same problems. So we shared our experience, which is what I thought the face group uh, for iCamper was for, to help people resolve the issues or answer questions or share experiences. So this is what we did. The response was very strong. There were good people. We actually did learn a lot. We did. So Some people we, made a did the research yeah. because they had the same issue. Yeah, so we learned that there's a difference between the version 1, the version 2, and that there might be two different versions of version 2. Mm -hmm. If you have version 1, it should close pretty easy, even with bedding in it. Because the volume is bigger, apparently. Yes, because the volume is a little bigger, and I think the mattress is thinner. Mm -hmm. If you have version 2, an uh, early version 2, you should still be able to close with, like, you know, a uh, sleeping bag or, like, small pillows, collapsible pillows and stuff like that. If you have the most recent version to the one that we had, that thing would barely close with only the mattress. And I cannot believe that people would like are convinced that we are lying about this. Yeah, they are very strongly convinced in accusing us that, well, you just created this problem. It's not the problem. We never heard of this before, even though on the same thread. You can see other people saying, I've been saying this for a while. Mm -hmm. This is what my research came up with. This is what I discovered, and I'm still having the same problem. Mm -hmm. so, so these people were so adamant about discrediting us and, uh, I guess, calling us fraudulent and making up all these false claims about us that we figured we, something started to not add up mm -hmm. about this whole situation. And I started thinking to myself, are these people working for iCamper through a third party to try to discredit people who have problems bad and bad experience mm -hmm. with iCamper equipment? And that's when we learned that the iCamper Facebook group is not a organic uh, thing made just by um, actual owners, owners and, and, users. and users of the tent. This thing is actually controlled and operated by Direct, iCamper itself. Directly by iCamper. Now, whether that's a conflict of interest or not, I think it is because one of the things that this person said specifically to us was that, you, yeah, you can have a problem, but you cannot address your problem in a public forum like this. You have to submit your problem directly with iCamper. Yes, which and, we did. Which we did. And At it, that point, twice. And it went against what they consider good judgment to speak about a public issue that we're having with our iCamper on this uh, public forum. And I just thought that was, that sounded insane after we spent $4,000 for a tent that did not work as operated. Which, when we found out that it was ran by iCamper, that made experience even worse. Because you would think if they see that we're reaching out and we said, hey, we're still having this problem, can we get some help? You would think that good customer service would actually reach out and be like, hey guys, maybe this is what we can do figure out some kind of solution. Instead, they blocked both of our posts when we asked for help and shared our experiences. And that just kind of start really going down a hill from there. Yes, that. so they blocked our posts and they sent us the first email about our issue. Finally, after, right the whole after, post, that. after the whole post thing happened. And it was a very generic email that just said, oh uh, yeah, try moving the mattresses around, which we had been trying to do for several weeks at this point. <laughs> And then they sent another email after I responded to that one that pretty much said, yeah, we don't know what's wrong with your tent. We'll send this message to R&D and let our R&D people try to figure out something. But we don't have any solutions for you about what is wrong with your tent. So in conclusion. So we in conclusion, <laughs> we ended up paying $4,000 waiting six weeks for a product that appears to be defective. And I know a lot of people having a great experience. And I'm so happy that people don't have this issue who don't have this issue because this is this was very disappointing truly because that is expensive we work hard we in 2020 where people losing income and all other things that coming around you know so we didn't get any response or help so to me that was kind of a very bad taste in my mouth for a customer service for iCamper even though people promote a good one mm. but seems like Facebook group is very highly controlled so of course you wouldn't see any negativity yep. on there or true maybe responses so uh yeah immediately after the whole fiasco what happened 
uh, when we installed the tent. We sold the tent in less than 24 hours. We did make an improvement. So the person we sold the tent to was now easily closing the tent because of the improved mattress we put in there, mm -hmm. which means we invested even more money on top of what we already paid for the eye camper. Yep. But even though it was closing easily at this point, we had such a bad taste in our mouth about the eye camper and then supporting the brand that give us such a runaround, so mm -hmm. to speak, that me personally, I fight, fought so hard to like the tent, but eventually all of these experiences killed any desire. So I hope you guys have better experiences. People who have ex experienced and live with iCamper, I'm glad you loving it and having such a good time, but we decided that this isn't for us and we moved on for bigger and better things. Better things. Bigger and better things in 2021. Yeah. All right, y'all. We are out. KRT Life. KRT Life with the Y. Like, subscribe, comment, all that kind of stuff. And yeah. So we're not completely just bashing iCamper. It just happened to but us. But we just had a bad experience. Very bad iCamper. experience. Yes. So if iCamper, you want to reach out to us directly and, you know, we can talk about what happened, you know. Too expensive we'll to a price to pay for experience and all these things. Yep. So, yeah. So if you're looking for one, these are all things you need to consider. Yeah. I shall. Peace.